Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what happens to your models when you switch from OpenTX to EdgeTX. I'm making this video because there's an impressive amount of bad information out there on exactly what happens to your model settings when you switch from OpenTX to EdgeTX, so we're going to dispel all those rumors. This is not a video on how to flash EdgeTX, I've got plenty of those videos on the channel, I'll put a few links for those in the description, but what I really want to show you is what happens specifically to your models. I'd like to start by setting the stage and showing you what I've got on the radio to begin with before we go any further. So I'm running the latest version of OpenTX, which is 2.3.14, that's as of this video. And then for the firmware that I'm going to install, I've already got it in my firmware folder, and it is the Edge TX firmware for the TX16S. This is the release version 2.6.0, so that's what I'm going to be installing. The next thing I want to do to set the stage is walk you through the models. So I've got two models on this radio, an F4 Corsair and a P51 Mustang, but I want to show you some of the settings so you can see. I did some weird things with the settings just to prove the point once we make the transition what happens. Notice I labeled all of my inputs on this one AAA, BBB, CCC, and DDD, okay? I did that so you would know when we transition to Edge that we have the same settings. The other thing I wanted to show you is these widgets. So I set up a widget page with the Corsair. It's got the nice picture with a couple of timers. I also set up this widget page which has all the outputs on the screen, so there they are. Everything is there that you'd normally have on a production radio on OpenTX, and that's what I wanted to show you. The next thing I'm going to do is load up another model. So I'll do model select, and we'll bring up this P51 Mustang. Okay, now I've got a P51 Mustang. It's got a title, P51 Mustang. I've got the same widget set up, but it is in a different model, right? It's a P51 Mustang. And then for the model setting, same thing on this one. The inputs are labeled AA through DD. I did that because it's weird. It's not the way you do things. And I wanted to prove when we do the conversion that you'll still see those settings. Okay, so that's it. That's the initial arrangement. You could have 100 models on here. It'd be the same thing. All right, so next thing we're going to do is flash the radio. And the way I'm going to do that is by powering off. And then I'll hold the two trim switches in and power it back on. And that brings us into the bootloader. So I'll hit right firmware next. And then I'm going to select my Edge TX firmware. To make life easier for you, I'll put a link to this binary in the description so you can download it directly. All right, so we'll select that and then we'll long press it and that will write it out to the radio. So right now we're flashing edge on the radio. Okay, with the flash complete, we'll hit return to exit. We'll scroll down to exit down at the bottom and we'll reboot the radio and this will bring us into Edge TX. So notice the first warning we got is an SD card conversion is required. And the reason it's going to do that is because it's got to change your old radio format to the new radio format. And that includes setting up your radios in the YAML format and then putting all your radio settings in a YAML file. So the first thing it's going to do is convert your SD card. You can press on the screen to do that. And notice it converted my two model files. But now look, all my stuff is gone, right? Wrong. It's not gone. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you the model settings. We'll click on model and notice we're still on P51. And if I go to the next screen over for inputs, you see I've still got A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. That's why I did that. I did that on purpose to show you that the settings aren't gone. The model is still there. The only thing that we've lost are our widgets. That's all. So to get those back, you simply have to go in the telemetry setup, hit setup widgets, and yeah, it takes a couple minutes to do it, but it's not that big of a deal. I mean, if you have a lot of models, yeah, it's going to take you some time. It's going to take you some time. It's unfortunate that that's the only way it can be done right now, but that's the way it is. But the important thing is you don't actually lose your models, and this gives you a chance maybe to refresh your widgets and rethink how you might want to do things on your, on your plane. So there you go. There's my P51 Mustang. Now I'm going to select Corsair. So I'm going to do Model Select, and I'm going to go over to my Corsair. Notice that on this screen, the Model Select, I still have my images. So I'm going to select Corsair, select Model, and then my widgets are gone again. In fact, the second page is gone too. So all we have to do to get it back is hit this telemetry button down here on the bottom, and then hit Setup Widgets. You can touch the screen to do it if you want. And then hit Select Widget, and we'll do Model. And then the, on this one, we'll do Select Widget, and I'll do Timer. And then on this one, I'll do Select Widget, and we'll do, 
I don't know. Let's do outputs on this one. There they are, outputs. And then if I want, I can add a second screen by clicking on this page and hitting Add Main View. And then I'll select the format to be full screen. For the widget, I want to select Outputs. And I will turn off all the extra stuff. We'll turn off the top bar, flight mode, sliders, and trims. And there we go. Now I have my second screen just like I did on the last one. But the important thing about it is the model information is still there. It is not lost. You see on the mixer, I have AAA, BBB, CCC. It's all still there. We did not lose our models. You don't lose your models when you make the conversion. What happens is you lose your widgets. So you, have to, you do have to go back and put your widgets in. But you see in the span of this video, which so far has been seven minutes, I've converted the radio over to Edge TX. I added my widgets back on both my models, and it took me seven minutes. So get yourself a cup of coffee, sit down with your radio, make the conversion to Edge, and add your widgets back. Sure, it might take you a little bit of time, but believe me when I tell you it's worth the effort. And for the people that ask, I do get this question quite a bit. For those of you that ask, I do fly Edge TX only at this point. I no longer have an operating radio with OpenTX on it. And that includes every aircraft I have, including my helicopters. I have a hel helicopters that are kind of expensive, and even those fly on Edge. My reason for telling you this is to let you know that Edge is perfectly functional, and there's no reason to believe it can't handle your planes as well. All right, that wraps up my video on what happens to your models when you convert from OpenTX to Edge. If you like this kind of material, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down there in the corner so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.